have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. What's good, guys? It's your boy Blalider forty five forty seven. Today I present to you another unboxing video. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Uh, I just want to first of all address uh, why I haven't been uploading lately, and that's simply because your boy just hasn't really been having the motivation or feeling to uh, edit the videos and upload. Because I don't know if you guys know, but it does take a little bit over an hour or so to you know record then edit to make sure everything is fine then upload the uploading process takes the longest but um yeah i was i just been focusing on other things um uh, now obviously i have videos that i have recorded but i just haven't edited and um so this week i will drop those videos with this video um and so yeah that's you know pretty much why i haven't been uploading i have the time well as of right now at least um and you know i'm still here of course you know i haven't really lost that much of interest of fire alarms although i have been slowing down as far as collecting goes um you know just collection is getting huge and you know I have a lot of stuff and you know the alarms I see on eBay and stuff like that are either what I, either I already have them or I have a variant of them and so it's just like eh, do I really need to buy this and that so so yeah so as you can see I already unboxed the box this is actually my second attempt and um yeah so without further ado um uh, let's go ahead and, and show you what I got in this uh package right here so so it's a lot of two so if you go right here take off the plastic and yeah there you have it you guys yeah i got a simplex 4080 uh six inch bell and not one but uh i actually got two of these uh I got these in a lot of two, so uh, get that off the way, and so yeah, let's have a little closer in-depth look of this, so like I said, so this is basically the predecessor of the 93 series, you know, the 2901, 93, 31, the 32, and the 33, uh, this will be the the modern... 9232 equivalent um but like i said there are some key differences between the two models like i said this is the predecessor so this came before the 9232 so it's still a 24 volt vibrating bell but as you see right off the muscle right off the bat that uh basically how this thing mounts uh to the vibrating uh mechanism assembly is actually a little bit different um Instead of the a nut or a bolt that usually holds the gong onto the assembly, you, um, actually how you mount it is basically uh, there's actually a bracket for the gong that it mounts on, and then there's two posts onto this bracket that actually goes into this um, this mechanism right here. So, um, let me actually, uh, show you that. There's two flathead screws on both sides of the gong. So, what you do is you loosen these, um, screws. Do the same thing on the other side. And then once you loosen them, the gong just comes off the assembly uh, mechanism just like that. Now, if you look on the back of the gong, that's what it looks like. So as, as I said earlier, you have two posts 
and then those two posts right here go into these two holes. And then if you look in there closely, like I said, the, the screw basically goes in there and it basically presses up against the posts and tightening them. And so, but you know, as you can see, it has a little uh, nut right here for uh, gongs that actually use the traditional, uh, you know, bolt design. And, and like I said, actually, the chime assemblies can also fit on this as well. So that's why that's kind of there. So, but uh, yeah, so once you're done mounting this uh, vibrating mechanism, which basically, like I said, it mounts on a double game back box, a 4x4 back box. So it is double game. But, you know, once, once you're done mounting, it's simple as putting the gong on top. And actually, I put it on backwards. Oops. There you go. Slides on there. And then, like I said, you just retighten the uh, the bolts, the uh, the flat head screws on each side. And then, boom, the bell's mounted up just like that. So, we look at the vibrating assembly closer. Like I said, this is basically the brain right here. Uh, it is, like I said, I said before, 24 volts DC. Um, it is polarized. As you can see, it has a red and a black wire for your positive and negative. It's only one set. Usually, these mechanisms come with uh, two sets of uh, a pair of wires. Uh, so, that's for your, your input feed and your output feed. But this one is just uh, combined into uh, one pair, which is not usually ideal. But, I mean, hey, it gets the job done. Uh, let's look at the label, uh, oh, there's a little glare. So, yeah, as you can see right there, 4080. Now, this is actually not specific to this model. Uh, like I said, other bells and chimes use this same mechanism. Um, you know, it, uh... The 10 inch version uses the same gong or same of our burning assembly, just like this. Uh, I believe that's called the 4080 5, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, like I said, it's basically the same mechanism. Um, because, like I said, these are very versatile um, and very um, uh, practical, you know, because, like I said, I mean, Simplex basically used this model for everything. Uh, and so, uh, and like I said, I mean, the difference, main difference between the AC and DC models are just basically the inner workings and that's just literally about it. Um, but like I said, amps, it pulls about 110 milliamps or 0.11 amps. And like I said, the range is from 24 to 28 volts of filter DC, um, Herds, like I said, just says DC because the Herds, DC doesn't have Herds or a frequency of of where it alternates, just like, uh, unlike AC current, because AC has, uh, is uh, alternating current, so therefore it has a frequency, and if this were to be an AC model, uh, instead of having DC for the Herds, it will actually say the the number of the frequency of the alternating current. And so, but yeah, as you can see, Gardner, Massachusetts, Simplex, like I said, this is the old school um, Simplex um, as opposed to the modern day. Um, as you can even see, it even says it on the gong itself. Um, and also, let's also, uh, Taking into account that this paint is actually glossy as opposed to a more of a matte finish with, uh, you know, like I said, the 9232 uh, equivalent. So, but yeah, so, yeah, that's the mechanism. And then, you know, it's the same. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, reveal how it works. I've explained this before, so it's not really anything new, but, you know, um, it's basically the same as this 
the Paratronic CDC 24 and the Simplex Tornado 1 9331 4 inch bell that I unboxed. Um, but just for the sake, I'm just gonna kind of go over it quickly with this uh, unboxing video. And um, yeah, so, and oh yeah, I don't know if I specified the date. I'm not sure the, the exact date that these were manufactured as it seems like these uh it, it doesn't have a date code on this um but i'm assuming it's probably 80s for sure um you know so anyways we're gonna unscrew all this all the three screws to reveal the mechanism and so there's the case right there and then like i said here's the mechanism and like i said um it's basically a single stroke converted to a vibrating circuit and how it does that is this switching circuit right up here and so obviously when the when the coil um the when the magnetism produced by the coil pulls the striker down it basically cuts the circuit and as you can see there's a little spring right here so when it comes back up it uh completes the circuit again so it, like i said it just kind of uh does that in a very rapid motion um very fast and that's how you get your vibrating circuit right there um on this side we just have a little uh flathead coin capacitor and it, in this heat shield um, right here um, there's a diode and like I said this diode is important because this makes this device polarized meaning that the polarity or the uh, flow uh, um, can only go one way and that's why you only have a negative and positive and some of these models actually are not polarized and therefore they identify as either uh, and AC models are usually not polarized, but um, for DC models, there's also non-polarized DC models like my 4041 that I got in box until I put a diode on it to make it polarized. Um, it comes in basically two black wires. And um, so, yeah, so basically without this device, it kind of makes it impractical to use on modern day systems. Um, because in modern day systems, obviously, they're checking for that diode because in a normal state, when the panel's in a normal state, it flips the polarity. And so uh, it checks for that diode. And uh, if, it, if there's not a diode there, then it's going to have an issue with it. But then obviously when it goes into alarm, it flips the polarity the other way where it's positive is positive or negative is negative to get the devices to sound. And so, but yeah, so like I said, uh, diodes, very important. Um, and like I said, we just have the, the plunger, aka the striker assembly. And like I said, the switching circuit up here, little spring, and then the capacitor, like I said, to kind of regulate uh, the current a little bit better. And then you see this screw down here, it actually adjusts the height of the, the striker assembly. So if your bell is not making good contact or if your bell is not sounding properly, it could be because the, this uh, striker assembly is out of adjustment. So all you have to do is just take a Phillips screwdriver and adjust it uh, until it uh, reaches the gong and hits the gong properly. But uh, but like I said, yeah, that's the inner workings of the, uh, the 4080. Like I said, it's nothing different. Then the uh the the Twilight One ninety three thirty one and the um excuse me um the Paratronic CDC twenty four chime um it's basically the same um even with the the Wheelock forty six T G sixes and the G ten uh they are both basically the same not exactly they don't exactly look like this but it's the same concept but um but yeah so. This is what a vibrating assembly looks like. And yeah, guys, so um yeah, that's about it. About this uh device. So you know. So yeah.
So, put the screws on. I'm not going to tighten them right now. I'm just going to loosely put them in there. But, that's about it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the unboxing video of my two new um, 4080s. Um, it's been your boy. And I keep putting this upside down. Um, there's this little notch right there that won't allow you to put it upside down or the wrong way, basically. So, but yeah, so that's nice. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I know it was a little bit long, but you know, there's some information to be covered. So, I mean, here. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. It's the boy, Black Lightning 4547, and about this joint. Take care and have a good one.